when you come to the meditation, you want to come with an attitude of confidence, conviction, that this is something really good. Training your mind, getting the mind under your control, will have a huge impact on the rest of your life. Because after all, everything you do and say and think comes out of the mind. And your life is shaped by what you do and say and think. So turn back and look at the source. How is your mind right now? Is it alert? Or is it drifting off someplace else, thinking about this, thinking about that? Well, try to bring it here to the present moment. And focus on the breath. As I said, you focus on the body in and of itself. It means you're just with your sensation of the body as you feel it right here, right now. You don't have to add any elaboration on top of it. Just what do you have right here? And see if you can stay right here. It's the ability to stay that's an important part of the training. If you allow the mind to wander around, it's nothing special, because it wanders around already. Getting it to stay in one place requires that you be mindful and alert and ardent, and that you observe yourself very carefully. Because after all, the Buddha says, if you want to get past suffering, you have to understand suffering, where it comes from, what comes from within the mind, and the subtle things in the mind that lead us to suffer. And so you have to look at what the mind is doing. When you solve the problem here, you're solving it at the right place. There's so many efforts in the world to solve problems outside. Passing new laws, doing this, doing that outside. But that's just tackling the problem at the end. The beginning of the problem is in the mind. Because as long as there's greed, aversion, and delusion in the mind, you can live in the best society possible. And there'll still be suffering, there'll still be conflict, and there'll still be people not satisfied with it. But if each person were to take responsibility for his or her mind, the world would be a much better place. We'd get along a lot easier. So do your part. Look at your mind. And when you see that it's doing something it shouldn't be doing, you can stop. It's not the case that when something gets put in motion, you have to follow it all, all the way through. Once you realize something is unskillful, you stop right there. This way your alertness gets combined with ardency, the desire to shape your mind, shape your life in a good direction. And when they're working together, then they have strength, and they really can make a difference. So come with an attitude of confidence that this is a good thing, this is going to accomplish something. You're not just putting in the time because you're waiting for the meal to, have to start. You're doing, taking advantage of the time that we have this little gap here to make sure your mind is under control.